right, you guys, you purchased your new Tom Davis 280C. I'm gonna go over the unboxing and show you everything you need to know about this unit. First of all, look at Lakota's sweet little face on the cover. This is so cool. All right, so first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna turn on your unit. There's gonna be a little purple blue button on the side. You're gonna hold that down until your lights turn on. Now to turn your receiver on, you're gonna take your remote. There's a little red dot here. There's also gonna be a little red dot right here. All you're gonna do is you're gonna pair it like this. The green light's gonna come on. And one thing I do to always make sure your receiver is on is I just hit the pager button, which is the vibrate, just to make sure you did it right. So you have your pager button right on front. I suggest only using this as a correction. This is very spooky to most dogs because it's pretty intense because it does have the HPP, which is the high performance pager. I often use that in behavior modifications and a really quick attention getter if you need to use it. I have the dog tr sound box on now just so you guys can hear what the stimulations are and what it feels like to the dog. There's a couple awesome new features on this dog tree unit proprietary to the Tom Davis 280C. So you have the Nick and the continuous nick on top. So nick is going to be a tap. Continuous nick is gonna be like that. So it really works as a continual and a nick. I find that this is very convenient for new e-collar users because you don't have to go from nick to continuous. All you have to do is hold this down for a continual stimulation. The bottom button is also completely proprietary to this unit in dog in general. It's gonna be the boost command. Now this is gonna be a preset number that you're gonna set by yourself working with your dog. I wanna show you exactly how to set your boost. You're gonna turn your e-collar to zero using the dial here. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the boost button down on the side for 10 seconds. You're gonna wait for the light to blink. Now you can preset your boost. So let's set it to plus 10. Once you find your level, you hit boost again to lock it in. So now you have your boost continuous on the bottom. The boost max level is 62. But now that we have the boost established plus 10, I wanna show you what that does. So right now you guys can see we're at a five. So if you hit Nick, it's gonna be a five. Now if you hit the boosted button on the side, you're gonna go up plus 10 from five, which is then 15. So it immediately elevates you to your corrective level that you need for your dog when you're working on obedience or if you have your dog off leash. So the timing of the boosted feature and being able to go up instantaneously is gonna be very important for you guys to develop and capture new behaviors with your dog. It's important for you guys to establish your dog's conditioning levels before you start using the remote collar. You really wanna stay below 10. You do not wanna correct your dog or cause any discomfort when your dog when you're conditioning with the e-collar. So as a good rule of thumb, I usually start between a four and a five on most dogs. So what you're looking for is your dog to register the remote collar physically. They may look down, they may flick their ear, they may say, hey, what is this new stimulation? I like to go one level right below that. So just when they start to register it, you go right below that. That's a good conditioning level for you and your dog. So every dog is different, but I typically tell people as far as where to set your boost, usually plus 10 from your conditioning level is a good rule of thumb. As you progress with your training, you may need to go up, you may need to go down, but every dog is different and that's for you guys to really find those variances with your own dog. So when fitting the remote collar, you're gonna go right on the side, one side or the other, you're gonna take your tab, you're gonna slide it in and make sure that the e-collar is nice and snug around the dog's neck. So when introducing the remote collar, you wanna do it in a non-distracted environment using lots of positive reinforcement. So right now, Lakota's conditioning level is around a three or a four. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna ask the dog pre-existing behaviors they know well. It's really difficult to introduce the remote collar when the dog does not know what you're asking. The three behaviors I like to use the e-collar as an introduction phase is the sit, the recall, and the place command. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a continuous nick until Lakota gets to her touch command. Lakota touch, she gets there and I release the pressure. And then of course, lots of positive reinforcement. So same thing with down, we're gonna hold the pressure down on the nick continuous. Lakota down, holding, releasing. Good down, paying her when she gets there. Lakota place, good. Sit, good. Lakota come, left, heel, place. Yes, good. Have fun. And make sure when you're doing this that the dog is not uncomfortable in any way. This should be a very positive experience when you're introducing the recall for a long time sustainable off-leash freedom. <laughs>